Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am excited to bring to you today this very special review, hot on the heels of the uh, Hasbro YouTube channel, revealing what probably would be one of the first commercials for the Creon uh, Battle Changer line. I have Creon Battle Changer Optimus Prime. Now let me explain. These figures or sets were announced some time ago. Roughly around San Diego Comic-Con, Botcom, and were to be released during the Age of Extinction line. At least, that's what I thought. Well, internationally, these figures or sets started showing up. Um, Asian markets and in Canada, which is where I got mine. Um, they have yet to show up on American shelves. Um, I don't know if it was an issue where the other sets were taking up uh, space and there just really wasn't room since these really don't have the movie styling and characters but um, I got a you know I got some off of uh, a Canadian seller um, and now hopefully they'll start showing up in Toys R Us's here in America uh, I'm not gonna go through the build it, it's you're basically what you're doing with it is the torso and the hips are from a Creon figure you're just extending them out. So if you look at the parts, you can actually find comparable parts. You can probably take a pre-existing Creon and make a changer like this. You'll have to, you know, figure out the transformation and stuff. But it's all ball joints. Ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, ball jointed hips, ball jointed knees. The problem, one of the problems I have is that, unfortunately... Uh, because of the extra mass for the transforming bits, it is a little limited. I mean, you can move it around like that. The hips are a little better. The legs are, you know, you get a nice, good range there. Um, the other thing you uh, should mention is these are really small. Um, I was a little taken aback by that, by just how small um, they are. And I was, I mean... It's about two Creons tall, but here, I'm going to bring the box in. And if you see how big the box is, or this section, where the parts are, compared to the actual figure, it's a little disappointing. I would have liked to seen it maybe come up, like, right around there, right where you can see the meat of my hand. Um, other than that, you know, like I said, the build is the build. The instructions are clear. I am. At first, I was a little disappointed that it's not a booklet anymore; it's a fold-out sheet. But actually, you can lay the parts on the sheet; it makes it a little easier. Um, this is in a somewhat super deformed style, as you can see. While the legs are in a nice size, the head is pretty much in proportion. You move down to the arms, and it's just uh, hmm. You know, you have the very small forearm, and this is a the normal size Optimus Prime uh, Ion Blaster for the Creons. And I'm a little disappointed is the hands are just um, the various C-clip pegs. I mean, um, th they did use something down here by the feet for that looked like the hands, of no a normal Creo hand, uh, that I think maybe they could have used it. So... Um, yeah, there are some sticker decals. Um, really, the, the one you can see right now is right here on the arm. Um, I assume this is the normal Optimus Prime head and helmet. Um, you know, that just pegs on. Um, so yeah, so uh, let's pause right here and we'll get into the transformation. Okay, transformation is very, fairly simple, but fiddly. Because of the fact that this is all a ball joint connection. There's really only one, like, pegging together connection that holds everything together, but that's not until the very end. So you might have an issue where stuff starts popping off, uh, and, y you know, it's not lining up right. You just will have to uh, fool around with it until you get things into position. First which step, what you want to do is go ahead and remove the ion blaster and put that off to the side. Um, you want to bring the arms back down, and, like into a neutral position, and then go ahead and rotate things forward until you see these uh, shoulder bits uh, facing forward. Next, what you want to go ahead and do, and what I recommend so you don't pop things off, 
grab them from where the two peg uh, tile is uh, connected to the four peg tile and flip that around. And here you'll see uh, an additional set of stickers that are um, the windows for the truck mode. And off to the side, you'll see there's even more windows here for the driver's side uh, mirror. So once you have that closed, come in down to the side here and bring uh, what will be the, uh, the, the wheels down and around and rotate them up into place. And this is where sometimes you can start having stuff pop out because it, it gets caught. Uh, as you saw, I had one of the wheels just pop off on my hand. It happens. So basically, you know, you have the front of the cab done. Next, what you want to do is come in behind here, bring up what were the forearms, and in doing so, rotate the smoke stacks down and around. And these will just um, fold up against the back. Right now, all the bowl joints are kind of tight, but I can see maybe over time things loosening up. Next, what you want to do is come in and flip. Um, it's a double hinge tile up and over, and this will cover the head. And it really is supposed to just hang forward like that. It doesn't go in securely to anything or any place. Now we're coming down to the legs, and this is where everything basically uh, pegs together. What you want to do is swing the legs back and up. I should do this side first since it's facing the camera. Hey! And there's a C-clip here where my finger is at the top that's going to clip into that bar. And just snap it in and flip the feet up all the way so it's angling up. Come around on this side and do it again. The best way I can find doing it is just bend the knee forward slightly and then clip it in. And flip the foot up. You can adjust to make sure everything's level. For better or for worse, here you have Optimus Prime in its vehicle mode. Now the instructions don't show what to do with the blaster, but there are some on some of these pegs there are some slots here and holes in the back. So I just Tack, peg it in like that, and there you go. And believe it or not, it real rubber tires that you you know you put on the axles yourself. This rolls. It's not pretty. I've seen customizers over a million years of tr the Transformers online community with Legos and then with Creos doing better uh, transforming Optimus Primes. And uh, as you can maybe notice right there. I did actually have one of the tiles um, pegged on wrong. Oops. And here goes everything. Okay. Basically, what you just missed is trying to fix this one panel here resulted in the entire uh, arm and shoulder build popping off. That's going to happen when you're trying to fix things. Um, just you want to avoid it. Peg everything in right the first time. Um, so, yeah. So let's pause, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, the big question is, can I recommend this set? And as long as you know what you're getting into, if this is very fiddly, I mean, just transforming it back to robot mode. I had the hips pop off, and I had both sides of the shoulders pop off. I mean, that's going to happen. But as long as you know that's going to happen and understand that this is just a fun kit to build and just to have a transforming Lego robot that you don't have to design yourself, I think it's pretty fun. I'm going to be, look to get into the other ones. I mean, I have Bumblebee, and now I'm hopefully going to be able to find Star Screaming Grimlock in the good old US of A so you don't have to pay the import prices. And that's the big thing. Now that we know that these probably are going to be released in the United States, don't pay the internet markups, you know, the imports and what have you. Um, because doing so might less, you, you won't get the um, value uh, proposition, um, quotient, whatever, other big words that I'm not sure I'm using right. But you might not get your value for your dollar if you do it that way. Um, 
but for what it is, I kind of enjoy it. I think they're kind of fun. This is your old pal Chuck for Battle Changer Optimus Prime. We'll see you next time.